What is going on? What is going on? What is going on, party people? It is your boy, Coach D. Brown. All right, I want to say what's up. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know that um, we had some baseball this week. You know, my DB Lee family had played some baseball this weekend. Uh, beautiful weekend, all right, with the weather, slight little rain here and there, but we had a great, great weekend. I right, hope everybody else had a safe and enjoyous, you know, weekend, all right? That's right, I am here on location today. I'm on location in the beautiful baseball diamond, all right? You know, just, just I figured I'd come in a little, little different today, right? That's right, I came a little different, so I said, let's talk a little hitting on Monday like we normally do, right? But I'm going to come to the field. I had to actually be here anyway, so I said, hey, let's let's go do a little live today from the batter's box. Let's talk a little hitting today, all right? So I'm going to talk about proper extension. All right? I want to talk about the myth of getting the head out. I'm going to talk about the proper way of, of, you know, what extension is, the proper way, and basically how to get through the ball properly and, you know, start coming around the balls and just doing things wrong, all right? I just wanted to kind of, you know, dissect this because this is what I saw this weekend for my own guys, okay? Just speaking on you know, the things that I've seen and haven't seen, all right, and with, with, with it, the proper way, all right, with my own guys, that's right, we, we're a work in progress too, all right, and I work with these guys on a regular basis, so today again, um, and some, a lot of this is being told and, and, and taught on Big League Shortcuts training too, so make sure the link is there for BigLeagueShortcut.com, and of course, you have access to this type of training with my website, okay, so click on there if you want to get more in depth with this, anyway, so today, I'm going to talk about what is proper extension, okay? The myths of what it what it entails and what I see, okay? So this is just this from this weekend. I just said, let me talk about this, right? So what I see from my kids and all the time is because coaches always say, oh, get the head out, get the head out. Oh, you you know, don't get cheated or, or don't, don't get beat and all of that. So what I see kids do, even in their practice swings, all right, they, I do it from the side first. Instead of getting here, all right, with that back elbow connected here, they get fully extended out here. So it looks like this when they're going to swing. They're fully extended out here. And, yes, the head is out, but it's, they're connecting and, and, and basically he's hitting contact with the ball way out in front, which causes them to hook the ball. Or the most they can do is hit a line drive over the third baseman's head or the, short, or, or the first base or second baseman's head. All right, and you get the... The rollover, you know, top spin every occasionally, every now and then you may hit the ball in the air, but it's a it's a hook. It's not a staying through, staying inside the ball, creating proper backspin. Okay, so every time I sit there, and I, I see, I hear the coach say, "Oh, get the head out, get the head out." The first thing I see with these kids is their hands go way out here to get the head out. All right, that's not the proper way I want to do, right? Because such with a good velocity, all right, as soon as they go get the head out here, they're hitting the balls all in their handle, or they're hitting the ball way off the end. Okay. Even if they square the ball up properly, it's going to be, boom, ground ball or line drive in between first and second, which is it's just a hard hit single. But without the proper way of hitting and getting proper extension, right, was the part two of, all right, I want to get that back elbow connected and proper extensions is point of contact here, all right? So from the side, I'm looking here, all right? I have this L shape right here, point of contact, con my, my back elbow and hip is connected right in here all in line, and I'm, I contact here and I, boom, Contact, boom, push through. Now I'm getting through here. I'm not at the point of contact. I'm not hitting way out here. All right, this is not getting a head out properly. Properly of getting a head out is hitting the base, hitting the ball right here, square. This motion here, from here, this motion. From the side, I go here, this motion through the ball, not fully extended out there at the point of contact. All right, that's not getting the backspin that you're going to need. All right, so many times I saw this weekend, I saw a back elbow coming you know even in practice when you look like this all right they're going out like this all right and they're getting a head out right but everything is coming around the ball what i keep telling my kids is stay here connected get through the ball then finish connected boom base all right my back elbow and hip is together boom getting extension this way then finish it all right i'm here boom point of contact extension through all right none of this get the head out here i saw it all weekend oh it's hurts my heart, all right? You got all this big, beautiful field. You got all this center field from uh, left center to right center, all this out here, but everybody aims for the corners. Does that make any sense? You got all this beautiful field up the middle, but everybody aims for the corners when they say, get the head out, all right? Do I mean get beat? No, I'm just saying learning the proper way of teaching the kid to say, hey, 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 you know, don't get beat. Don't get beat, meaning at the point of contact, I'm here, 
and from this point, my back elbow is connected and I extend through this way. Not full extension at the point of contact, what I see so much. You lose your power. As soon as this back elbow and everything gets away from your body, I'm done. That's This is full contact when many people think the point of contact way out here and you're hooking balls, all right? Or somebody got good velocity, you think, get the head out, you get a hit, you're gonna get jammed all day. You gotta stay inside. As soon as you get that elbow in here, tuck, you're gonna create the proper backspin and you're driving balls left center to right center, all right? All day. That's the proper way of creating backspin and staying and getting the extension, okay? Right on. So, last last lesson. So you got the myth of getting the head out, the proper way of extension, right? And why do we teach this? Why are we going through this, all right? All we're trying to do is make sure that the, the most powerful swing is a connected swing, okay? I'm not saying get beat, I'm not saying anything, but this back elbow and hip working together all connected is, is magic to hitting. If you see any great hitter, you see all the guys in the big leagues, anybody like that, all you're gonna see is all of them are connected to the point of contact. Every now and then you are going to get beat, yes, you're gonna be out in front, and some of the guys are powerful in the major leagues, and even in college, they can get out in front like this and still hit a ball out. That's not something you wanna teach. But if I promise you, if you get to this point on time, every time here, point of contact, with my back elbow and back hip connected, boom, point of contact, extending through, you have so much success. You will have so much success. All right, this is not hard to teach, but it has to be the right person teaching it. And so many times I see, you know, coaches and parents not teaching them that. All right, it's like, get the hat out, come on. Huh? They see they get kid get jammed one time, oh, get the hat out. So next time the kid goes right outside, right? Their hands come way out here around the body, and then they, they, they don't understand that they're gonna get jammed even more by doing that. Or worst case scenario, they're gonna catch the ball out in front and cue balls all day, all right? I saw it all weekend, even for my own team, that's right. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that you guys understood what proper extension is, okay? I want to definitely make sure, all right? Let me say my shout-outs to people that are on, all right? Definitely want to say my shout-outs to people that are on. Excuse me, one second. All righty. Let me see what's on here. Excuse me one second. So I get my shout outs. And they, they, they don't understand that they're gonna get jammed even more, but. All right, let me say what's up. Let me say what's up. What up, Red Queens, what's going on? All right, Triple, what up, baby? Eric, what's up, baby? Hey, what's up, baby? Damn, what's up? Toronto in the house, what's up? Gap to gap. Ty, what's up? Juan, what's going on, baby? All right, shout out to everybody listening in, all right? We got a full house, packed house today. All right, love it. All right, let's go dig a little deeper, man. Let's talk a little deeper over here, all right? Let's talk about when when, when do we want to really try to go for it, okay? What I mean by go for it is not get to cheat it the proper way. The 2-0, the 3-1s, the 1-0s, the 0-0s, okay? We want to have a mindset because we all know that, okay? And I talk about this, and this is a little bit more advanced. What I mean by advanced meaning like you have the foundation. I don't want to like go out there and just thinking about, hey, let me go out there and just swing for the fences. No, you have to have the proper foundation because that's when you start getting the full extension and get the head out. That's when you get all the craziness and you, you actually go in reverse, okay? So what I want to talk about here is the 2-0, the 3-0, the, the 1-0s, when you were up in the count, how to drive the ball correctly, okay? So when I get out here, and 2 0 count. When I'm 0 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 1, yes, I am trying, I don't want to get cheated. But all I want to do is basically gear up for a fastball. And this is where we talk about this. If you talk about my three, when you see my three free videos, right, I talk about this a little deeper, where it's not a launch angle and all that type of stuff. It's just when I get it, when, when I'm 0 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 1, I'm, in a, I'm ahead. So now I'm just looking for one pitch so I can drive, drive the ball. And once you get good enough, that's when you can sit here and go full extension. I know that fastball is coming, but when I'm locked in, I am trying to, and I, I know it sounds crazy, but a millimeter or so, get underneath that ball to create some backspin to hit that ball in the air and drive it, okay? 
I know a fastball, so I'm gearing up. I'm, I'm, I'm going all in. I'm rolling the dice that I'm going to get this fastball, okay? And I ain't going to sit there when I'm looking for a fastball, which it should be already, but I know when it's 2 3 one I know he got to come with it. And if he, has to, if he drops one in, I don't go out of my approach. I don't do that. I, I still stay with my fastball, my fastball approach ready to go, all right? So when I do that, I'm here. I'm, I'm always here. I'm always connected, all right? But all I'm doing is I know I'm, I'm really gearing up. So my head is on automa- oh, my head, my, the head of my bat is automatically going out in front a little bit, but it's not here. I'm here, re- ready for that fastball. And all I'm trying to do is get it out in front a little bit more, right? Ready to connect. And that's why I'm looking pull side, if that's my power, all right? Because I know me, right? 2 0, 3 1, 0 0. I'm looking for that fastball middle end in this area over here, all right? This is the fastball I want. Even though I know he's probably trying to paint on his outside corner, okay? But this is who what I'm looking for. If he throws here 2 0, I take. But anywhere from here over, I'm trying to drive right center, all right? From this point all over to here, I'm trying to drive right center. This is what I'm trying to do from a left-hander, all right? From a right-hander, all right? Same thing. I'm giving him the corner, but from... Three quarters of the play over, I'm looking to connect right here, boom, and get that head out. And I'm not thinking pull side. I'm not thinking foul line. I'm thinking left center field. Okay? I'm thinking left center field, all right, from a right-hander. Not left field. Left center. I'm always still thinking up the middle. That's only on 0 one 2 one when I know a fastball's coming. All right? So what happens is too much, though. We know a fastball's coming, and that guy paints, all right? And we looking what over here, so we end up queuing it or... Not swinging at the having a proper swing on a pitch that's outside. It's okay. I tell my guys all the time, hey, look for your fastball to dr- your fa- your fa- your pitch to drive. But if you don't get it, it's okay. You still up 2-0, one up one one now or even or something. You still you still um, are ahead of the ball game, right? When it comes to that pitcher facing you, okay? And that's all it is. You just want to be have a proper uh, um a, a leg up when you're facing that pitcher. Meaning like you he's you get he gets more predictable. That's all you want. So when it's 0 one 2 he becomes more predictable. Like, you know a fastball may be coming, all right? But when he's on his game and all that type of stuff and you're down 0 one 2 that's when you come a de- little bit more defensive. You can't just be looking to launch, okay? But 2 3 one that's not launch angle. When I say looking to launch angle, I'm saying that's when you're looking to launch balls, meaning, like, I'm, I'm really trying to get there and drive that ball, okay? That's what I'm trying to do, all right? So, anyway, that's one of the tips I wanted to talk about, all right? Juan, what's up, baby? Todd, what's up? Bubba, what's going on? Lawrence, what's up, baby? David, what's going on? <laughs> Mark, what's up, baby? Good to see you on, man. Rich, what's going on with y'all? Man, I love y'all, man. Listen, I appreciate you guys coming on today. All right, just talk about, listen, the proper extension. What is proper extension? This is not it, all right? What pitch is 1 0, 2 0, 3 1, the proper way of thinking, the proper way of swinging. All right, this is not no, you don't want to cheat and give, you know, go all out and, no, no, no. But you don't want to get beat. But it's the proper way. All right? So many kids are getting out. Even they practice swings. I see you No. Get in here. Boom. Connect it. All right? Then I swing through. All right? Connect it. Then I swing through. All right? So that's it. All right? I want to wrap it up. I want to say peace and love, man, to you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Love you guys. Be on tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central. Peace. Love you guys.